who wants to do the final speech for today? Quick spot coaching. Mm. Can I do that? Deepan. Yep. Go for it, man. Uh, your topic is, okay. last time I remember it was about fitness, yeah? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So tell me something about your hobbies. No, not, not the speech yet. Tell me something so I can pick out a specific topic for you. Workout. Apart from that. Um, agriculture. Farming. Okay. Farming. Like okay. Do you believe everybody should do farming at some point in their life? No. Oh, you're asking? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm asking. Do, do you believe? Yeah, of course, yes. So that's your topic. Why everybody should try farming at least once in life and why? Okay, so uh, I want to ask a question. Uh, what's happening? Uh, uh, can you all imagine uh, so our life is like this or like this? So our life is not like this. It's not, we're not progressing in, in the life. So so we are we are living in this generation. Anything could, uh, anything could happen. Uh, so can you all imagine what will happen to us uh, uh, we, we don't live for 100 years. We just live anytime we will die. Um, you know why we, the reason we die so soon because of the generation, uh, the place we live, the unhealthy foods, and also uh, more contaminant in contaminating the contaminating air, contaminating pollution and all that. So the, the topic is uh, uh, everyone should do farming um, because that's uh, that's the Asian people have done that and uh, suddenly some some people the, our parents some people still doing it and we are not doing it uh, even more even though our parents are not teaching to I mean have not taught us to do farming but now it has been changed uh, like few youngsters uh, mostly who work in IT. Uh, companies they are interested into farming like me uh, I always like farming and I haven't started it but I have I'm just practicing it uh, adapting the technologies into the farming so this is a difference okay uh, in, in the in the olden age the farming was there now farming was not there it, it is still there but it's not the same as the old age so but now the people are uh, learning to do the farming because that's the future uh, without farming, we cannot live because um, we cannot just chase the money. We can live a luxurious life, but food is most important thing. It's vital for a human 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 life or any life, any any beings, any living beings in the earth. So uh, my advice to everyone who work who does not belong to farming or their family does not belong to farming, learn to do farming. It's not nothing uh, nothing nothing difficult to learn farming. So uh, you can just do something just at least just plant a tree somewhere so that is also kind of farming that's a start of a farming so once you do once you start it you need to have a commitment so without commitment you won't even start and when you start you start liking it and when you start liking it you get addicted to it so when you get addicted to it you thrive in it you thrive in that field so when i say thrive you bring more technologies like the whatever the technology that you are seeing in this modern generation, you bring everything to the agriculture, which was not there before. And that's why uh, most of the people forgot on the agriculture. So that's the level of agriculture. And it, it is our duty to bring that agriculture back and, uh, and uh, adapting the technologies and all that. So for that, um, just learn agriculture. It's, it's much more important and uh, yeah, as I said, um, agriculture is our base of Indian economy as well. So uh, as you are an Indian without, if you cannot go to other country and you say you don't know agriculture, you should know agriculture. That's a base yeah. of your country. So uh, that's it, I'm done. Very good, very good. Let me ask Rajesh. Rajesh, how how did Deepan speak? What do you think? Quick feedback from Rajesh, our mastermind member. Let's, let's hear, putting you on spot, but let's hear your opinion, sir. No sound. Is is this blue? Yeah, it's there you go. Yeah. First of all, Deepan, the the fact that you continued speaking, I think that's that's probably the best part of it. You kept you kept speaking. You took the time off, so that that's a very positive thing. Your voice was strong. Um, if, in terms of negative feedback, I would say that uh, again, 
there was no structure that's number one number two yeah. there was uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know summarizing maybe you know you, you would have seen mm. that vishal was always summarizing right in the end he was repeating two or three times to make that point across so you you use similar words but if you had summarized it i think that would have been second good point and the third one is uh, if, if you recall shall way of uh, telling he used an acronym so okay so if you had used something like that then definitely it would have been very uh, lot more had a lot more impact i would yeah. stop with that vishal so thank you thank you rajesh uh let, deepan do you agree with did, did you understand at least what he said yes yes okay okay i i would vouch for the the you spoke first of all man i mean i i spoke to you once before or twice you have you have the fact that you raised hand and you spoke for 3 4 minutes without hey when does my time go up just fact that you did that right now is makes me happy okay so so good job because you're making an effort i can see that good uh what where you lost is you spoke without knowing where you're going okay so the moment you start have you read how many of you read the book the seven nine seven habits of highly effective people um yeah the book was taken by from bhagavad gita the author said that himself when he came to iasc uh no iisb isb means whatever he said that i the reason people read my books is because they don't read their own culture the bhagavad gita that's why i took all the seven habits uh from bhagavad gita from different seven shlokas anyway so one of the things i could use the shlok right now from bhagavad gita but one of the habits is uh, end, begin with the end in mind begin with the end in mind so the moment you start you never speed up if you don't know where you're going you slow down in the beginning the reason is in the back of the mind you're thinking the road map because if you're speaking too fast your mind is focusing on your speaking if you start slowly i believe that all of us should actually learn farming and i'll tell you why right now see when i'm speaking slowly that basically means i'm thinking what i'm saying next okay so because it's giving me time it's giving me i'm buying time i'm thinking my next points three four points uh, just like when you're driving you don't just randomly go you think you're driving slow so you can think uh, do i go right left you're planning your route does that make sense to you deepan you getting yeah. what i'm saying yeah. so your structure could be that the four four piece structure for quickly for you um is could be this uh and we have so many so many different structures that we can talk about later on but one of the things we talk about is called poser okay poser promise obstacle solution example recommend next step rajesh you know you know this technique right? poser <clears throat> yeah um what is prom uh, promos sorry my english help me shakespeare so promise in the next 3 minutes you're about to discover how to farm why to farm and as a leader how it's going to make you more fulfilled than ever before deepan promise done yeah obstacle a big obstacle that many people face when it comes to farming is because they don't know how to farm they don't know why to farm they don't know where to get started deepan by the way is that a fair statement yeah yeah so what is the solution i'm going to give you a solution right now the three solutions i want to and then give you two or three tips tip number 1 i want to give you what, what is the first tip you can give for somebody who wants to start farming just do plant anything that you get just you get. just plant a tree yeah second water the plant properly water Please. the plant properly three analyze the growth analyze the growth analyze the growth and let's take the fourth step which is repeat do it for another tree yeah example when did you start farming deepan oh i no i and mean you? no i mean in a more than in a more than doing a small a small farm. when was it how many years ago just 2 years ago uh, two, okay 2 years ago yeah. Yeah. and how many plants did you like put six, the seeds like in 60 60 60 wow how many of them are still there like yeah four. like yeah for 
in our account, but our account, but we are doing well. We are doing well. Oh, almost every, almost all. Yeah. Okay. So here, here is how it goes, the presentation. Hi, my name is Deepan and today in the next three minutes, you're, you're about to discover exactly how to start planting and why you should start planting. See, a common mis mistake that many people, uh, many people face when it comes to any kind of farming or they say sometimes have a dream that one day I wanna have a farm of my own. Uh, you know, they wanna grow something organic for their own families and friends, but they don't know where to start. How many of you are just there that you don't know where to start? As a matter of, matter of fact, I totally understand how you feel. I'm going to give you four quick tips that you can use to take some baby steps toward it. Why? Because there's an old saying, as you know, uh, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. First of all, you don't eat an elephant. But in case you had to, you, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And how do you do that is basically four steps. Number one, just plant a tree. You don't have to buy a big land. You don't have to buy thousands of trees at all or the seeds or the samplings, you just have to plant a tree. Go to a nearby store somewhere, get a small plant and plant it in the backyard or get a small mug or tub and you know at the terrace, you can do that. Number two, water the plant properly. Just because you give a birth to a baby doesn't mean the baby is nurtured properly. So in the same way, the plant needs proper nurturing and fertilizing to make sure that you are giving the proper you know, fertilizer or, or water, whatever it requires, the sunshine. And third is analyze the growth. You know, is it having the proper color in, in the leaves? Is it dying? Is it growing? What is it doing? And number four, repeat. If when, once one plant grows, do that for other. As a personal example, I'll tell you, um, until 2019, you said two years ago, yeah? Until 2019, I never did this process myself. So two years ago, I started doing the process. I started planting one tree, started watering the plant. I started analyzing the growth. I started repeating the process. And lo and behold, two years later, I have planted 60 trees so far. And all of them, guess what, are giving oxygen and shelter very slowly, very soon as well to this entire nature. So what I recommend as the next step for you is you also do the same thing. Maybe next week, one of the things you probably spend a lot of money on Starbucks, just like me or at a CCD or a barista, whatever you do, just take a little bit of money and just put it, get a plant. And if you wanna make it a fun activity, maybe you can just involve your children, your wife, your husband, and, and make it a good thing for yourself and it will really change your life. I'll tell you this, I'll end my speech as deep as uh, with this. One day you are gonna die. And at that time, what do you want your children to say? My father never did a single freaking thing for this nature. Or do you want to say, you know, my father, I'm proud of him. He planted 60 trees. You make that decision tonight. Take care. Okay, you end. Okay. Now, somebody asked me about empower. The last 15 seconds was the empowering part. Before that, everything was education and entertainment. Deepan, want to hear quick words from you about the structure, the poser thing, and then we end the call here. Just, ah. Okay. Sorry. Can you repeat that? I'm, I didn't get. I didn't catch that. Sorry. What did you think about the poser framework, the structure, and how can you utilize it from now? I want to hear from you before we end up. Yes, uh, I need to frame a proper structure before I just deliver the subject and I need to use uh, some uh, some powerful words to end and start the uh, speech. What was the P? Sorry? What was the P of poser? Yeah, promise. Sai, what was the O? Obstacle. Hold on, Sai. Okay, obstacle. What was the Sorry. S? Sai? Solution. Solution. Okay, what was the E, Anindita? Example. And uh, Gayatri, what was the R? Recommending the next time. That's it. That's a structure that I've gifted you today that I had no plan, but I gifted because Deepan was there. Was that valuable for you? Poser. P O S E R. You can use any speech, and there are so many different structures and things like that I can teach you inside the speaker and implementation bootcamp. But for now, this is, I think, a good start, very good start for you. Poser technique. Make a promise, tell an obstacle. Let me tell you, okay? Poser, when Manjula can use. Today, I will, I will demystify the entire law of attraction for you. That's my promise in the next two minutes. Obstacle. A common obstacle many people face is that they sit down to meditate, they think about the car, they think about the people, they think about all of that, and none of that works out, and they think law of attraction is bullshit. Has this happened to you? Then S. Let me now tell you the three solutions. Tip number one, understand that it's not about just 
not about just visualization, it's about creating an alignment with that version of you that can attract the thing. Number two is you have to be specific about what you require. And number three, you have to take proper action when you see something. Um, and you know, as a law of attraction coach, you can say that as a law of attraction coach, because I, I'm not just about the law of attraction. I understand quantum physics. I understand Joe Dispenza. I understand Bruce Lipton. I understand who else is there. I understand Abraham Hicks and Louis Hay. I combine all of that as an example. Just a few years ago, I remember I was not attracting the right results in my life. And then you give an example how you attracted the result in your life. And they recommend the next step. And if you want to know more, go to magicalmanjula.com or your phone number. And I recommend that you book a strategy session with me so I can teach you exactly how you can attract your dream life partner, your dream house, your dream car, your dream job, just like Naren did. And as a result, you can be happier, fulfilled, and absolutely amazing. Remember, it's not about just law of attraction. It's about law of action. Manjula here, take care. Boom. Poser. Did you see I just used that? Promise, obstacle, solution, example, recommend the next step. It's easy. It's a science and an art, and you can do that.